Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah, and in this video, I'm going to do a quick review over the antibiotic class known as the fluoroquinolones. So let's get started. The fluoroquinolones class has a common suffix of floxacin, which is spelled F L O X A C I N. And this includes like ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin. Now, whenever we're talking about targeting, it has a broad spectrum coverage. So it really goes after those gram negative and some gram positive. Therefore, it's really good at treating urinary tract infections, respiratory, GI, and skin infections. But how does it do this? Well, what it does is it inhibits DNA gyrase, particularly the ones that go after gram negative, and topoisomerase 4, the ones that are the gram positive. And all this is really going to block DNA replication. So it's going to have a bactericidal effect. So remember the word floxacin to help you remember those things about this class. F is for fluid intake is key, especially with Cipro. So you want the patient to drink plenty of water to prevent crystal urea, which could lead to kidney injury. It can also cause a long QT interval. So if the patient is also taking this along with other QT prolonging drugs like amiodarone, there's definitely a risk for this. So monitor their ECG. And older adults are at risk for tendon rupture, particularly the Achilles heel. And this risk is increased if they're also taking corticosteroids. So tell the patient to report immediately any pain in this area, swelling, or a snap feeling, or they have a decrease in their immobility. And patients don't want to take this with antacids, calcium, iron, or dairy because it reduces absorption. Also, you want to avoid in children and during pregnancy because in children it can actually cause bone and cartilage problems. And there's a C. diff risk with this, like with many of these antibiotics. And there's increased sun sensitivity, so tell the patient when they go outside they definitely need to wear sunscreen and to avoid tanning booths. And lastly, it can have neuro effects, especially in elderly patients, which can manifest as dizziness, headache, and confusion. Okay, so that wraps up this review. If you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the description below.